Welcome to the Comic Ship. Today we'll be talking about the Ghost Machine, Image Comics' newest imprint. The Ghost Machine is a return to Image Origins with a series of best-selling authors that worked on the biggest titles on Marvel and DC, joining to create a new imprint. The Ghost Machine is split into four universes. The Unnamed, The Rook, Family Odysseys and Hyde Street. With different creative teams and genres, while there are many heroes and characters with superpowers, what isn't present are superheroes, but readers can expect action-packed series. The Unnamed is the universe where throughout history, unlikely and strange heroes have risen and fallen. These men and women are a mystery, their identities and lives a secret. But for a great evil to be stopped, their stories must be told. From a radioactive family man in the near future, to a British assassin during the American Revolution, to a robotic killing machine seeking its creator, and more, they are the unnamed fighting the unknown war. The unnamed universe was introduced in the pages of Geiger by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank, and continued in Junkyard Joe. Both series have a trade paperback published, and this month was launched the ongoing Geiger title, together with Redcoat by Jeff Johns and Brian Hitch. The Unnamed is ambitious in scope, with stories that go from the past to the future, and there's already a known timeline that lets the reader see some of the major events in this universe. Tariq Geiger was an average family man, suffering from bone cancer. Undergoing experimental treatments, Geiger suffered through the pain of staying alive for his wife and two young children, amidst the growing prospect of a world war. In preparation, he constructed a fallout shelter that could keep him and his family safe. As war erupted, Geiger's family was safe inside the shelter, but Geiger found himself trapped outside when the bomb struck transforming him into a radioactive monster. A nuclear physicist from Russia named Dr. Andrei Molotov crossed paths with Tariq Geiger not long after. Dr. Molotov designed a special vest with dampening rods made of boron to suppress the radiation Geiger's body was collecting. Without the boron rods, Geiger would build up energy and eventually discharge it in a radioactive explosion. In the years since, Geiger became an urban legend among survivors. Anyone caught trespassing near his family's shelter was either killed by Geiger or persuaded to leave. As a result, he became a threat to one of the warlords of Vegas, the King, who tried to kill the glowing man. In doing so, the King and his nuclear knights blew open the shelter door, revealing Geiger's family perished when the bombs originally dropped driving the grieving family man into a rage. Along with his mutated two-headed wolf, Barney, Geiger left Nevada without direction. The robot known as Junkyard Joe was designed to be the ultimate soldier, a ruthlessly efficient killing machine that follows any orders it's given. In 1972, the robot joined a platoon nicknamed the Junkyard Dogs in Vietnam to assess if the United States could win the war. Disguised as a human, the robot's ruse was soon dispelled during an ambush, but it became a silent, trusted comrade to its fellow soldiers. They called him Joe. As part of the platoon, Joe soon observed and learned firsthand about the humanity it was programmed to both protect and destroy. When the platoon was ambushed by enemy soldiers, killing all but one, Joe overrode his programming to return to base and instead hunted down and massacred the enemy in retribution. When Joe realised the enemy included the death of a small child, Joe's programming could not compute such a loss and it shut itself down. As a result, President Nixon felt the war could not be won and began the United States' withdrawal from Vietnam. The lone survivor of the junkyard dogs, Maury Muddy Davis, was injured and sent home believing he had merely imagined the robot soldier named Joe. Upon his return, Muddy created a long-running and beloved newspaper comic strip called Junkyard Joe based on what he thought was a dream. Fifty years later, 
the real Joe appeared at Muddy's home in Melody Hills, Indiana, believing Muddy had created him. But Joe was being tracked by a rogue US scientist called the Custodian, who was his actual creator. Ultimately, Joe again rejected his original programming by protecting Muddy and the people of Melody Hills from the Custodian and his hired assassins. British redcoat and all-around rogue Simon Pure shipped out of England to fight the rebellion that had erupted within the American colonies in 1776. During the Battle of Trenton on Christmas Day in 1776, Simon mysteriously became immortal after an unplanned run in with the clandestine cabal known as the Founding Fathers, which included George Washington, John Hancock and many other prominent American Revolutionary War leaders. Since that fateful day, Simon lives a charmed life of personal adventure and enrichment though those who have come to know him describe it more as a selfish and aimless string of failed relationships. He's worked many different jobs, but as a self-described solitary man, Simon eventually found he excelled at being a mercenary for hire. Along his travels, Simon has interacted with many of history's most renowned figures, including Benedict Arnold, the only other surviving immortal from the Revolution, Albert Einstein, Annie Oakley, and many more. Most of his interactions turn out unpleasant for all involved, man, woman, and child alike. Written by Jeff Johns, and with art by Jason Fabok, Rook. Exodus exists in its own universe. The comic tells the story of a struggling farmer from Earth who was given a second chance on the planet Exodus a terraformed world where every aspect of nature is controlled by humanity, including the winged scavengers who plagued his crops. Now called Rook, the farmer became one of the wardens, those who wear helmets capable of commanding an animal species. But when the world's engine failed, the power of the wardens fell into the wrong hands. Those who could afford to flee forcing those left behind to choose between trying to escape this war-torn world before its destruction or fighting to save it. Like the other wardens, Rook's true name was discarded the moment he was recruited and heard by Betterworld to leave Earth and become a farmer on one of the corporation's terraformed planets in the Kepler system, Exodus. Like the other wardens, Rook has revealed little of his former life on Earth. Although it is known he grew up on one of the last sustainable farms in North America, long owned by his family. Five years before arriving on Exodus, Better World's engine failed. Although the planet's civilian population was evacuated, the corporation's employees, including Rook, were left behind. Better World assured Rook and the others they would return to Exodus for them but there has been no further communication from the corporation. Watching the world decay around him, Rook has spent the last three years scavenging for parts to build an escape rocket for himself and his friend, fellow warden, Swine. Family Odysseys is Ghost Machine's family universe and is full of heart, heroics and humour. It is a wonderful, vibrant world of relatable characters in extraordinary circumstances, all focusing on the importance of family, both born and found. There are two series announced for this line, both written by Peter J. Tomasi, The Rocket Fellows with Art by Francis Manipal, and Hornsby and Halo with Art by Peter Snaebjerg. Rocket Fellows starts in the 25th century, where everything seems to be picture perfect, the dysfunctional and imperfect Rockefeller family discover their futures in jeopardy and the only way to remain safe is to reluctantly enlist in the Time Zone Protection Programme and escape to the Earth of 2024. There, they must both adapt their distinctive futuristic traditions and hide them from their new neighbours, who, to them, have strange customs and are even crazier people. As a nemesis tracks them through time to 2024, the Rocketfellers not only develop unexpected relationships, tackle personal issues, and rediscover the true meaning of what it means to be a family. 
they're also on track to change their own destiny and the future itself. That's of course, if they can at least get their internet to speed up and find a food they all like to eat. Hornsby and Halo Stars. Two kids on the verge of puberty, with no clue how pivotal their role in the universe is. Thanks to a divine agreement between the forces from above and below, two children of angels and demons swap families at birth to prevent a cosmic war of epic proportions in a classic story of nature versus nurture. Hyde Street is the name of the series that reunites the creator of Blackest Night, Jeff Johns and Ivan Rice. It's also the name of Ghost Machine's horror universe. Hyde Street is a place in any town or any city or country or remote place in the world. Hyde Street is a seemingly good place, but there are some dark intentions designed with it, and there are people you'll meet on Hyde Street that you'll regret meeting. There's still more to come. This is just the beginning. With both published works and upcoming releases, Ghost Machine has curated a diverse array of titles spanning various genres. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into these stories. Our transmission concludes here, but the conversation doesn't end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you read any of the published titles? We'd love to hear your thoughts on the lineup Ghost Machine has assembled.